Hello guys and thank you so much for coming to this video today. This is a little bit different. Uh, there has been an announcement about Pokemon Masters which was just released today. Uh, the time you can see it here but it's a different time zone so you can go ahead and check that out. So this is a, um, a translation so I'm just letting you all know right off the bat because they have said that they're going to do a proper translation and then gonna release it. They're gonna release it to everyone else. But for the people that don't know, um, it's it's basically like a letter that it's stating that there are a lot of problems, as we know, right, with Pokemon Masters, and that they're working on it. So I'm going to briefly go over it. I'm not gonna read it all. I already had the opportunity to glance through it, and uh, some of them uh, are really really good pointers, right? And some of them uh, are just uh, apologies and things like that. So, I'll, again, I'll just brief through it. And I'm... <clears throat> well, that's going to be all. So, first of all, this is the first letter that they send out. Producer letter. Producer letter. And uh, this letter is coming from Satoshi Sasaki. So, quite interesting, right? Because one thing that he mentions in this introduction... And this is in the third paragraph. In addition, Iguchi, who has a lot of experience in gaming and managing mobile games, joined the team in order to greatly improve functions in the future. And it goes on. In the future, Iguchi will be in charge of operations producer and will lead to renovation of Pokemon Masters. So, right here... I have to tell you that the game is going to be revamped. So they're going to work again on how this, the game is working because apparently they are they're addressing what the people are saying. So let me go to the following. So this is the apology section. Apology to all. Uh, feel free to pause the video so you can read it on your own since it's, um, it's kind of translated just by a web. It may not make lots of sense, so lots of the things that I will say are definitely also assumptions because they're not properly translated. So it, since it's mistranslated, could be mistakes, right? But I'm actually interested and kind of excited, right? Because uh, I actually do like the um, the franchise of Pokemon, and uh, this game it's it looks very nice and it has very interesting mechanics. I think that there is a lot of room for improvement so I truly hope to see some kind of future for, for this game because the way it is it, it I I don't feel honestly sorry I'm sorry guys but I don't really feel like it has lots of future so they're gonna go back to the drawing board so <clears throat> the first part is a, an apology and as you can see in the bolded first section it says the first is that we were the first is that there were a lot of game defects. This is referring to all of the bugs that the game has. The respawn was not quick, which is they did took long to solve them. And it wasn't enough to satisfy everyone. And the problem here, and I'm not going to read it, you can read it. It's, um, they're mentioning that they prioritize some bugs because they actually could compromise the way that the game could be played and some other bugs didn't really affect a lot so they didn't focus on that one on those so the second part this is actually something that i truly truly care about and i am glad that they actually have mentioned this <clears throat> so this is second there is a small amount of content and there are many parts where the level design was not good now the uh, the content of the game, I completely understand. It's a new game. Of course, it's not going to have lots of content. But let me just say, right? Let, let's say if this game had something like a tower mechanic that other games have where you have to face different trainers and each time that you reach a certain amount of floors, you can get a specific items. It could be gems. It could be gym notes. I mean, good good rewards right uh and then it it would if it refreshed let's say every week um you could actually play that tower four times a month now 
although there is not a lot of content people at least will be busy right they will be kept busy doing something that uh it's actually paying off and it's um the thing is that the game right now feels a little bit static. Uh, the only thing to do right now, besides uh, clicking those events that they don't take long, um, it's uh, farming um, accessories. So that's something that I didn't do, right? I, I, I went balls deep into the game, and uh, the game was very interesting. It's new. Uh, there's lots of room for improvement. But going to AX challenges to just uh, farm accessories not my thing i didn't like it so i didn't actually play as m lots of that right so <clears throat> uh, i'm going to read one part right here which i do find interesting about this second section i'm going to highlight it uh, and it's right here it says to be honest i feel that the current ex challenge design is not designed to be enjoyable by everyone hands down true completely agree so that and it's it's not about the difficulty of the uh, the challenges. It's just about the mechanics of it. I don't like that. <coughs> I'm sorry. And the reason why I don't like it is because there is so little room for actu an actual strategy. If you want to clear ex challenges, you have to be like reading a script you have to use this skill you have to wait for them to do this then you have to do this and follow by this and then you have to switch like this and that doesn't feel like you're playing it feels like you're just imitating somebody else and that's i, I don't like that right so that's one main issue that they're gonna address which is i'm not suggesting for them to lower the difficulty i'm just asking so that other teams can be utilized not just one team right so the third point is that even though we received a lot of opinions on the issue of the game it took very long time to make such a call okay so i'm assuming this is it let's see was boy saying that the amount of content was not sufficient insufficient struggling mm. okay this one I don't think it's important, so I'm going to skip it. Now, this part, uh, recognition of current issues. This one, it is true. Lots of people have point, pointed this out, so I'm going to just go ahead and read it as it is. <clears throat> because there, I'll read it from the top, not all. Thankfully, we have a lot of feedback from you, of course. I feel that this kind of passion must be taken seriously and the entire management team must be changed. Which is good. Now, there are four points that they're addressing in this section. And um, the first one is that there is little content. And they, they put it in parentheses. There is nothing to do. That was pointed out by everyone. So, yeah. Uh, true. And in a way, I understand it's a new game, so there are not a lot of things to do. But, I mean, adding different mechanics will actually help out. Maybe that's the reason why they're uh, just pumping in some events. Now, the second point is that the rewards obtained by playing the game are not attractive, which is true. If you level up 10 characters or 10 Pokemons or Sinks to level 100, I'm just making assumptions, right? You get a one experience book right and it's level one like it you you get five if, if you just spend two minutes doing a mission so there's there's no satisfaction from receiving something like that so they're gonna improve that which is good right because uh, i have um i kind of read most of the information right so they did address that so the third point the level design between the content corresponding to the level is bad. But th what they mean by this is that some players were actually having difficulties while clearing the story mode. For example, if uh, usually, right, usually, if you follow the story mode, you should be able to keep up with each one of the chapters because you would be leveling up and, get and getting according uh, gear accordingly. That will help you through the next chapter and things like that. You just would have to do a little investment. Now, in this game, you hit 
brick walls. You, you get to a specific point in which you are way under level, so you there's not much you can do, right? So I didn't actually had that problem because when I started playing the game, the options to level up opened up. So what I did is I just increased the cap of of my team. I break the threshold, I was level 100, and then I went back to clearing the story mode. So when I cleared that, it was a breeze. Like, everything was super easy, one or two spells, or, I'm sorry, um, attacks, one or two attacks, and that would be cleared out. So no problem with that. So the point number four is that the game difficulty to understand and opera uh, operability is poor. So with that... Um, I don't know because uh, some people may have difficulties understanding how the mechanics work um, and how to use them it's I don't know maybe they're talking about the sync moves maybe they're talking about the uh, the, the, the mechanics but if, if you're familiar with Pokemon uh, games you have kind of like a general idea this actually it's not it has some bases of the Pokemon games, but it's not entirely run by them. So, a lot of things are done differently. Like, for example, when Rosa and Superior use Shields Up, it, she's using Light Screen and Barrier at the same time. So, or, or Reflect, I believe is Reflect and Light Screen. So, two of them at the same time, and then they can be broken like the game, but the way they're applied uh, both at the same time is not something that you would normally see, right? So we're gonna go ahead and check for the next part, which is uh, this is the uh, um, Let me go back right here, right? Because I want to point this out. I highlight it so that you can kind of see where I'm re reading Number two, the reward for playing the game are not attractive and below that we are currently reviewing the remuneration for this so we promise to report the next response in addition we will continue to resolve the issue one two four so yes they're gonna work on that so keep that in mind um let's see we're gonna go to a section says our goal now this part has a red bold um section which i honestly don't get it i don't know what they mean by that so we're just gonna read the first paragraph uh, we take your opinion seriously, and we keenly uh, aware of the we are keenly aware of the need to greatly improve our current uh, operations. So, uh, in red it says, or it reads, we will draw out the appeal of buddies and aim for a game that can be enjoyed only by Pokemon masters. I don't know when they say buddies. I don't know if they refer to Pokemon's. If they refer to the Poke Trainer or the Sync overall, I don't get it. Maybe it's the actual uh, character that you make. I don't know. So that, sorry, I don't have anything. You can make your own assumption. I mean, the information is there, mistranslated there. But if you wait a little bit there uh, below, I read that you, we, we are all gonna get an official letter as well this will be properly translated and then we can take it from there right let's see and then what else i feel that it is a big challenge in the battles with high difficulty the bodies to be taken are selected accordingly to their performance instead they are playing with an on organization that does not look good <coughs> now this section right here this right here I believe that this is what they're talking about. This is an assumption, right? They're suggesting that we should use elemental advantages in hard difficulty modes. Now, people are not doing that because it's more effective, for example, for EX Challenge Rosa, very hard. Uh, it is better to use three Olivias, which is uh, three Lycans, than actually using elemental advantages. Because if you use three Olivias, you actually get to clear it fast and efficient. So you're not utilizing a team that has elemental advantage. So I'm assuming that's why they say instead they are using, and I quote, instead they're using our plane with an organization that does not look good. I'm assuming that's it. And then 
below that, they have three different bullet points. All trainers find their favorite buddies because, uh, let's see, all trainers find their favorite buddies. I'm assuming that they're going to change the way that you get uh, the Pokemons or make it a little bit easier. I don't know. I don't know what's that. Um, but yeah, they want to make sure they maybe other ways to get on a specific sync because uh, other games have different events in through which you can get at the end, right? At the end, you can get that specific um, unit. Let's see. Bullet point says number two says because I like that buddy. So I'm assuming. No, I mean, so this could be because of the missions. Hmm. Okay, I'm assuming here that it's because people want to take their fairy Pokemon to the hard missions, but they're not useful. So, they want to provide an experience in which you can take your Pokemon that are useful and actually be useful. I'm sorry. To take the Pokemon that you like and actually be useful. Now, for example, I one of my favorite Pokemons is Chansey. She's very tanky. She has lots of defense or special defense and in this game that's not the case i haven't seen someone use her i have her but i i, I don't know like her kid it's it's weird and her stats are not all there for example maybe when she evolves because chancy has lower based uh hp than superior and lower defense it, I believe it goes for both special and regular defense. So, yeah, get that. Uh, let's see. Mm, this is an apology message to everyone. From now on, Pokemon Masters, each trainer gathers their favorite buddies and raises them as they wish, creating their own dream team. Okay. Overcoming strong enemies, standing together with the team, and the team's desire for the bodies will come stronger. Okay. When such a trainer sees the promotion video of the game it will truly realize the experience that is expected okay so an apology and I, I think this is going to be the last part of the video right here at the bottom you can see that the next letter in which they're going to probably address the issues or give us more information about what's going to be done it's going to be on the 17 and below that it says that due to language translation it may take some time to post depending on region so they're gonna release it and it may take longer for other regions as well so guys i think this is gonna be all and this letter it's uh poco master producer Sato satoshi sasaki operation producer uh tetsuya iguchi so thank you so much guys uh for staying with me all of this if you don't like that way that I explain things, what you can do is you, you can pause the video and just read it. Pause it and read it. Have a good day, guys.